Welcome to Someone Awesome Films, I'm Rob. Let's get all these left arms. The first one is a freebie. You have to, uh, you'll get, you'll get told to cut this guy's arm off. So do that. Cut it off. Chop it up. And, uh, collect it. Because we need to. And then a little bit after we collect that one, there'll be, uh, you have to use, like, your, uh, press up on the D-pad and you'll be able to track who is your, uh, your target. So do that often. Or just do it watch this video and find out where they are next guy is here is this chappy so uh cut his arm off as best you can now i'll be honest cutting people's arms off is friggin hard uh but luckily most of these people are right before a checkpoint so just uh mess it up restart checkpoint and then you'll be uh set for your target next guy is just up ahead right past the ferris wheel is this guy cut him up get his arm off and then uh Take his guts, because why the hell not? Collect his arm. That's number three done. Number four is in the room with the cameras when you go up the little stairs here. Uh, cut this guy up. I'll admit this one took a little while because there's a lot of people in this room. But uh, when you get it, cut him off. There we go. Delicious. Uh, let's move on. File RO2, number five. Uh, after you go in the room full of brains, these guys will attack you. The, uh, the fourth member of their team, three will appear in the room with you. The fourth will come out from that glass room. Cut his arm off, you'll get it. A little bit further up in the room where you play as the gecko, uh, this guy, one of the guys in there, will be an, uh, an arm. So take that guy's arm, because you need it. And then don't get attacked by these little balls. Piss off, buddy. Uh, a little bit later on, you'll see these two dudes standing there. Uh, scan them. Take the one on the right, slide in, and then chop his arm off. Mm-mm-mm, fantastic. And take his guts, because everyone loves a good handful of guts. Number eight. At the very start of this mission, this guy is your target. The very first guy in front of you is your target. So just run in, slide, cut his arm off. Then, before you go into the building, uh, to the left is another guy. He's your target. Slide in, cut his arm off, take it. Fantastic. How easy was that? Uh, two in a row. Beautiful. Let's go get number 10. Number 10 is right here. Before we go on the elevator, one of these chappies at the back here with the rocket launchers is our target. Not that guy. That guy. Cut his arm off. Take it. Thank you, buddy boy. So that's right before you go on the rooftop. Then, on the rooftop, once you jump across to the, uh, to the uh, second building, Though it's the first building that you jump onto, but it's the second building you're on. One of the flying guys has the has the arm you want, so cut it off him, take it. Fantastic. That's 11 down. Let's go get number 12. And go over here for some reason. Uh, number 12 has one of the hostages uh, right on the uh, last building that you jump onto. He'll be here, cut his arm off, cha-ching, thanks buddy. And if you save the hostage, kudos to you. Uh, the next guy, number 13, right when you get to here and the bridge dude is shooting at you, the furthest guy on the right here has the arm you want. Take it and uh, kudos. That's right after you come out the dark area, that guy. And then the next guy is uh, before you go into the shops area, is a guy at the top here on the round thing and when you got the spiral stairs here. You had to beat him up a little bit before you can take his arm because he's a custom cyborg and he has a bit of strength but when you've weakened him his arm will be the first thing that you can cut can cut off cut it off easy as that take his guts because uh, fuck him he's a jerk for making us have to hit him a few times and then kill everyone else when you get to these stairs here the first guy on the left here standing on this platform is our target run in take his arm because uh, he doesn't need anymore because he uh, he's dead so, good on that. Uh, in the very start of this mission, the first group of guys that attack you, uh, one of them is your target. So chop them all up, because why not? It's uh, convenient. You get their arm. Delicious. Delicious arm. Number 17 is uh, when you start shooting them with the machine gun, and they all start charging into you before you go on the elevator. One of the guys that gets up the stairs with the shields is your target. So uh, break a shield, take it. Now this guy needs you, uh, when you get to the top of the elevator, uh, you have to stealth kill everyone in the room and this guy will appear. 
Uh, so you actually get this one after you get this one, which is one of the guys at the very back of the room when you get to the top of the elevator, cut his arm off. So these are the guys you have to stealth kill, and then that guy, number 18, will appear. I don't know why the order's mixed up, but hell, that's what they did. Uh, when you get to the Japanese garden, the guy waiting for you at these stairs here before the room, uh, you kill him, take his arm. Pretty, pretty obvious there. And then, the next guy, you uh, probably want to stealth kill everyone in the next area here, if you want. You don't have to, but it'll make life easier, because one of the dudes, the very first dude that you'll encounter, is the guy whose arm you want to take. So, take his arm, beat the crap out of him, you have to weaken him, cut his arm off. Fantastic, that was a clean cut. And then kill him, because he doesn't need to live anymore because he has no arms. Stealth kill all the people before the freight elevator, and the last guy before the freight elevator is the guy whose arm you want. Beat him up, cut it off, and then uh, you now have 22 arms and some guts in your hands. 23 on the elevator, the first dude who attacks you with the big hammer and all the flying creatures around you is the guy whose arm you want to cut off. Now this one can be annoying as shit, because those birds are annoying as shit, but uh, keep at it. Get his arm. Then, the very start of this mission, one of the two samurais that attack you is the arm you want. So kill them and take the arm, because you need it. Then, in the next area, the guy with the big hammer waiting for you, he is the guy you want to take his arm. So take his arm, because he only has one arm now that I cut the other one off, and he'll stop swinging that damn hammer, but he'll try to headbutt you because he's a jerk. When you get past that section and a couple of those little gecko dudes, you'll come to this area where there's a civilian in trouble. Run over to this guy because it's his arm that needs to be taken. Thanks, buddy, you dick. And then, number 27, at the start of the final mission, this guy is the arm you want to take. He's the very first dude at the gate. Then when you go through the gate, the guy with the big hammer, take his arm, because that's number 28. And then we have two left, once we actually take this guy's arm. We have to weaken him, of course, and he's a jerk. But he's not a jerk when he gives up the arm. Thanks, buddy. High five. Oh, wait, you can't. Now, when you get in the hangar, there is an arm. The very last guy at the, f at the very end of the hangar is the arm you want. I recommend stealth killing everyone else, so that way you can just focus on killing and taking the arm of this chappy, another dude with a big ass hammer. How many of these guys are there, and why they have so many hammers, and why the fuck would you give a camera machine gun? That's annoying! Stop shooting me camera! You're supposed to be looking at things, not shooting stuff. And then the last guy, once you get out of the hangar, is uh, right there. Go over to him, cut him up, kill him, take his arm, finish the mission, You'll get a big fan of Lefty's achievement. Easy. Done it. High five.